hope you're all feeling well. Let's begin in a child's pose with the big toes touching, knees open wide, and then just relax in between the legs, forehead down into the floor. Take a few seconds just to get comfortable there. Maybe you want to move from side to side a little bit, now wriggling your way into your body. Eventually finding somewhere where you can just settle, where you can relax. I also take this few minutes just to settle the, the breathing. Getting that nice steady rhythm going. Okay, go on slow breaths to breathe in. And on slow breaths to breathe out. So all this week we've been playing with different themes. Okay, and today we are on passion. So maybe that's passion for the practice. That need to grow, to develop, to learn more. Something that will fuel your, your passion for the practice and then and hopefully help you through the ups and downs of the practice, those days where you feel great. And see you through those days where you don't feel so great. Yeah, so you stay on your mat, so you get through it. So take a little twist here, right arm underneath your body, so that you can have a little look underneath the left arm and reach the left fingertips to the top of the mat. Just finding that twist. I found a nice little quote about passion and it's purpose is the reason for, for your journey, but passion is what lights the way. And passion doesn't fall in your lap, but it's um, something that you cultivate and, and well, first of all, find and then cultivate. So if yoga is or, be, or is becoming your, your passion, and then you have to spend time cultivating it, helping it to grow. That's what we do every time we get on our mat. Bring your left hand in, and then we change sides, left arm underneath your body towards the right side. And then reaching the right fingers to the top of the mat. So, and then just taking a little bit of time here exploring how that's, that feels for you today. Maybe you'd like to develop other passions outside of yoga. So your yoga practice will help you to, to find those passions, you know, the ability to quieten your mind, to take a step back, to change your perspective. Connecting to your higher self, to your true self. So maybe you find other passions will fall in your lap. And you'll have that discipline and that desire to cultivate them, to, to watch them grow. And doing the left arm, we'll just take both arms back out in front. Maybe those hips are really talking to you now. Take a big breath in, feel the belly expand. The whole back of your body expand. And a long breath out. Walk your hands back towards your knees. And we'll bring the knees together. We're going to do a little breathing practice called Kapilabhati which is where, where we pump the belly back towards the spine. And that for me is like stoking the inter internal fire. So you can imagine a fireplace with wood burning. And then when you let oxygen in, that makes the fire burn higher or bigger. 
So that's what we'll do with this breathing practice now. And I think you've all done it with me before. But you exhale sharply through the nose and pump the belly in at the same time. Okay, we're going to do that 30 times. So you can rest your hands on your thighs, sit cross-legged legged if you need to. Take a big breath in through the nose. Open mouth and exhale fully. Breathe in halfway. You pump and the breath out and belly in. Halfway there, keep it going. Exhale completely. And then inhale. Open mouth and exhale. Breathe in halfway. And off you go, 30 belly pumps. Thirty. Exhale. Inhale completely. Exhale fully. Breathe in halfway. Close your eyes this time if you haven't already. And then thirty pumps of the belly back, shooting the air out of the nose. When you get to 30, exhale completely. Breathe in fully. And open mouth, exhale, let it go. Well done. So wrap your forearms around your belly. Slide the other hands just to outside of the thighs. And then lower yourself over your arms. Let your forehead rest towards the floor. It might not reach there because the hands are there. Yeah, but just bring an awareness to that area where you pump to the belly back. Maybe letting those eyes close so you can visualize that fire being stoked. So your internal fire being stoked and made to, big, be, to grow bigger, wilder, stronger. Let's we'll see if we can take that through the practice. And then having the arms here, we're also getting an extra little stretch in the back. So if you take the arms away now, and see if you can sink down a little bit deeper into your child's pose with those knees together, those feet together. I want you to push down as hard as you can with the hands so you feel that stretch with the arms, uh, through the arms and the shoulders, the armpits, the back. And then make your way up onto all fours. Okay, so keep that fire stoked now. Let your belly sink and lift the head chest up. And then as you exhale, round into the back chin to chest. Okay, a few more times in your own time. Just freeing up the body of some tension, tightness. See if we can get everything moving, get that passion flowing. Passion for the practice. When you're ready, last time, stay in an angry cat. Really think about drawing the belly button back, chin to your chest. And then bring your right knee to your right wrist, right foot towards the left wrist. So we'll come into a pigeon for a moment. Take a twist here this time, left arm underneath your body to the right side, unlike yesterday, and reach the right fingers to the top of the mat. Okay, see now if you can take your right arm around you so you go behind you, you might be able to find those uh, right or the right big toe with your right hand and then use that to pull and open up the shoulder. Yeah, but don't worry if you don't get there. 
And don't worry if this twist isn't for you, just keep the arms out in front. Releasing your right hand, bringing yourself right back up. Tuck your back toes, and we'll take the right leg back and just bring your left knee to your left wrist, left foot towards the right wrist. That's it, and then taking the twist again. Right arm underneath you towards the left side. And let your body creak into shape. Left arm goes around your back and you might catch those, the big left toe with your hand. You might not. What's annoying is that your hand might be right there. It's just you can't see it or you can't feel it. You can't find it. So have a little feel around. Maybe it is there. Breathing in. And then breathing out, trying to pull that left shoulder open. Nice guy. Release the left hand. Bring yourself right back up. And we're coming to our downward facing dog. Tuck in the back toes, left leg goes back. And then have little wiggles. You can press through the heels. Okay, we're gonna twist through our class today. Helping to uh, continue that fire, that internal fire to grow and get stronger. So lift your right leg up to the sky. Bend the knee and open up the hip. Get that nice stretch there through the left leg. And bring your right knee into your nose, right foot next to the right thumb. So now from here, bring your right hand into a fist. And then bend your elbow and draw the elbow up towards the sky. It's like you're pulling a bow. Keeping that shape, lift yourself up into uh, standing. Left fingers forwards and your right hand is still pulled in that bow shape. Start to see if you can open up the right shoulder towards the right side. Feel the twist through the torso and then open up the right arm. You can look to the right side and hold it there, breathing in. And as you breathe out, take your left hand to the floor and then reach your right arm up and over your head. Try and twist more towards the right. And then lower your right hand to the floor. Take your right foot to the back of the mat. Just for a moment, take your right hand by your right side, if you can. Right hand down, lower the knees. Elbows brush the rib cage as you go down. Come through a little cobra up dog. I haven't done much back bending yet. Take it up and back into downward facing dog. How's that feeling through your right side? Yeah, a little bit more heat going through that right side. Left leg lifts up to the sky. Bend the knee and open up that hip. Enjoy the stretch there. So when you can find the joy in each pose, that helps you to cultivate that passion for it. Bring your left knee into your nose, left foot next to the left thumb. Okay, now you're gonna bring your left hand into a fist. Imagine you're getting ready to shoot an arrow not to kill anyone, <laughs> but elbows bend, the elbow bends, draw it up. And then lift yourself up, right fingers forwards, left elbow pointing backwards. Now feel the twist through your torso. Twist, torso. You're gonna open up the left arm. You can move your gaze towards the left side. Feel the struggle, right? the struggle between right and left side. Take your right hand inside right foot. Left arm up and overhead and see if you can twist the chest a little bit more towards that left side without dropping the right hip. Feel the pull and push, stay with it. Left hand comes down, left leg goes back. See if you can take your left arm by your left side, just for a moment. Left hand down, lower the knees, release your feet. Let the elbows brush the rib cage. Come through into your cobra up dog. Do what feels good here for you. Take it straight up and back into your downward facing dog. Nice big breath in, let the belly expand. Open mouth and exhale, draw the belly button back. Keep stoking that fire. Right leg lifts up. Bend the knee, open up the head. That's 
and move mindfully and with awareness. Where are you within the space in each moment? So right knee into your nose, let the right foot land next to the right thumb. Bring the right hand into a fist and then start to draw the, draw the arrow back. Elbow bends. Lift yourself up. So left fingers to the front, right elbow pointing backwards. And then open up the right arm, try and turn the gaze towards the right side. Squeeze those legs together if you're wobbling. Can you rest the right hand on your left leg? Take the left arm up and over your head, feel the stretch all through the left side. Take the left hand down, right arm up and over head. Twist the chest towards the right, then he expands with the breath in. Then he draws back with the breath out. Lower right hand down, right foot back, right arm by right side if you can. Right hand down, maybe full vinyasa now. You choose elbows, brush with cage. Come through, cobra, up dog. Take it up and back. Downward facing dog, how does that feel there? Left leg lifts up to the sky. Bend the knee and open up that hip. Now bring the left knee into your nose. Challenge yourself to get the left foot there in one fail swoop. And if it doesn't, Keep trying. Bringing the left fingers into a fist. Elbow, the elbow bends as you draw the bow back. Lift yourself up, right fingers facing forwards. Now take and open up the left arm towards the left side and then move your gaze over towards the left side. Twist, twist, twist without moving your hips. Left hand onto your right leg, start to lean it back. Straighten into your back leg a little bit more. Breathing in. Good, breathing out, right hand next to that left foot. Left arm up and over your head. Twist the chest more towards the left side. Good, left hand goes down, left foot goes back. Left hand by your side, if you can. Hand comes down, elbows brush rib cage. Head forwards, chest forwards. Come through, cobra, up dog. Meet me in, downward facing dog. Nice big breath in. Exhale, belly draws back. Let's keep flowing, keep moving. Right leg lifts up. Mindfully moving. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Bring the right knee into your nose. Can that foot get closer to the right thumb now? If not, all the way there. Bring the right hand into a fist, elbow bends. Lift yourself up. You're already starting to twist here. Open up your right arm towards the back and then look towards the right. Good, right hand onto your left leg. Start to lean back, left arm up and over your head. Okay, this time bring your left elbow onto your right knee. Bring your right arm up and over your head and then press the palms together. Come into your twist here. Inhale, and exhale, try and straighten into that back leg. Good, release, take the hands, either side, front foot. Front foot to the back, right hand along your right side. Left hand along your left side. <laughs> Did anyone do it? <laughs> right hand down, elbows, brush, ribcage. Come through, cobra, up dog. Knee, knee and downward facing dog. Big breath in, guys. Long breath out. Yeah, does anyone manage that no handed plank? <laughs> Left leg up to the sky. Bend the knee and open up that hip. Feel the stretch. Look for where it feels good. Bring your left knee into your nose. That foot will get to the thumb somehow. Bring your left hand into a fist, elbow bends, move mindfully. How does that feel as you open the chest? Lifting yourself up, right fingers to the front of the mat. Open up the left arm and then start to turn your gaze towards the left side. Twist, 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 really go through the struggle. Left hand onto your right leg. Imagine that fire burning in your belly here. 
Right arm up and over your head. Breathe into it. Bring your right elbow onto your left knee, palm face up. Bring your left arm up and over, press it on top of your right palm, and then push down to the left hand so you can get deeper into that twist. Inhale, squeeze those legs together. If you wobble and fall, get back. Good, look down, hands either side, front foot, front foot to the back. Left hand by left side. You can always miss this bit. Left hand down, elbows brush rib cage. Come through cobra, up dog. And then meet me downward facing dog. Take a big full breath in guys. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Draw the belly button back. Good, let's keep moving. Right leg lifts up. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Get bigger here. Right knee into nose, foot lands next to that right thumb. Bring the right hand into a fist, elbow bends. And then lift the left arm up, so you're coming up to stand. Open up the left arm towards the left side, move your gaze towards the, sorry, right side. Right hand onto left leg, and then lean it back. And as you lean back, can you straighten into the back leg? Good. So bring your left elbow onto your right leg. Right arm comes up and over your head. Press the palms together. Push down to the right hand. Enjoy the twist. All right, look down to your right foot. Bend your left knee. You're going to bring your left foot next to your right foot without coming out of the twist if you can. Yes, and once you get there, push down to your right hand and see if you can get back into the twist. Looking down, come up onto the toes of the left foot. You're going to slide or step that left leg all the way to the back of the mat. Can you feel the outer right of thigh, right thigh working there? Hands come down either side, front foot. Front foot to the back, right hand by your right side. Right hand down, elbows brush with cage. Coming through, cobra up dog. Meet me downward facing dog. Relax the core, breathe in. Exhale, draw the belly button back. Nice guys. Lift the left leg up. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Get into the biggest expression of this pose you can. Bring the left knee into your nose. Left foot next to left thumb. Okay, I love this bit. So bringing the left hand into that fist and then bending the elbow. Imagine you're about to shoot your arrow. Um, let's say it's an arrow of love. <laughs> right arm up, coming up to standing and then open up the left arm. Look to the left side and then encourage the fight, the struggle between the right and the left side. Left hand down, right arm up and over your head. I said all my awareness shoots to the right side here as I try and straighten my right leg. Good. Bring your right elbow onto your left knee, palm face up, left arm up and over your head. Press the palms together as you twist. And you want, if me, if you have a look at your thumbs, you're trying to push down to that left hand so your chest, the center of your chest comes to the thumbs. Yeah, might be a bit more time before that happens. But down to your left foot, bend your right leg, get ready, step your right foot next to your left foot. There's a lot of work going in that outer left leg there. Breathing in, try not to squeeze the knees together as you twist, lengthen your spine. Enjoy what you're feeling, <laughs> or not. Come up onto the toes of the right foot, make a slide the right leg back, or step the left, right leg back to where you came from. And it's not easy, so don't worry if you fall. Looking down, take the hands either side, front foot, front foot to the back. A little check of the core here, left hand back in line with left, the left side. Left hand down, elbows, brush rib cage. 
Cobra up dog, stretch out the core here. Take it up and back, downward facing dog. Nice big breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Good, walk your hands back to your feet for a moment. We'll come back to the flow in a bit. Bend your knees and relax the tummy, the chest, the head over the legs. Take the hands behind you, interlace the fingers, draw your shoulders away from the ears and let your arms reach up and over your head. Put a little bit more weight into your toes, stretch out whatever needs stretching. Bring the hands back to the sacrum and then resting them down on the floor, just start to roll your way up chin to chest. Get a little bit more movement through the spine now. Bend your knees, arch your back and lower all the way back down. And I want you to do this a few times. Inhale, roll your way up. Exhale, bend your knees, arch your back, lower all the way back down. Two more times. Let's get a little bit more movement through the spine. Last time. Good, end up in your forward fold. And then you can walk the hands all the way back to the front of the mat into your plank pose. Get lower your knees to the floor, arch your back. So belly drops, chest draws forwards. Bend your arms and let your, your chest land in between your hands, your chin on the floor. Squeeze if you like, if it feels good, squeeze your heels into your bum and keep that tailbone lifting up. Inhale. And exhale, lower the feet down. Let the legs lie flat to the floor, sliding the knees out. Draw your shoulders back, lift your head, your chest, just a cobra. Nice again, getting that movement in your spine there, breathing in. Good. And then breathing out, push down to the hands, push the hips back into child's pose. Really grip on the floor here. Inhale, and exhale. Good, that was your little intermission just before this last little flow. All right, so coming up onto all fours. How are we feeling? Tuck those toes under, lift the hips up and back, find your downward facing dog. Okay, go with what feels good rather than what you think you look like. Yeah, so for this not last flow, go about how you feel. So if you feel sensations, good or bad, that's great. <laughs> You're feeling them, so that's something. Let go of what the practice looks like. All right, so take the right leg up to the sky. Bend the knee and open up that hip. Get the stretch there through the left leg. Bring your right knee into your nose, belly strong, land the foot inside your right thumb. Bring your right hand into a fist, elbow bends, draw your arrow, lift yourself up, and then open up the right arm. Turn your gaze to the right side. Enjoy the fight between the left and the right. Right hand onto your left leg, left arm up, straighten into that left leg. Bring your left elbow onto your knee, Palm face up, right arm up and overhead, rest right hand on top of left hand and get deeper into the twist. And stoking that fire. Looking down, bend the left leg, jump your left foot next to your right foot, come into your uh, funky chair or twisted, twisted chair, breathing in. As you breathe out, look down, keep the legs exactly as they are, Come into your chair pose, tucking the tail, reach the fingers forwards and sit the bum back, inhale. Good. As you exhale, bring your hands heart center. Come to standing. <laughs> Come up high onto your toes. And see if we can slide your back down a wall as you bend your knees, bringing your bum onto your heels. Well, then you can put the hands on the floor or you can hover the hands off the floor and slowly lower your knees to the floor. 
Yeah, use your hands if you need to. Come up onto your knees, your toes are tucked under. Hands behind you, thighs forwards, hips forwards. Lean it back into your camel. Yeah, opening up your chest. Opening up your heart. Making your way back, sit your bum back onto the heels. Now this is the challenge. Bring your palms together, thumbs into your chest. Lean back. See if you can slowly start to lift the knees off the floor, come back to where you came from. It might be a struggle, go with the struggle. Yeah, hands to the floor, lift the hips up, straighten the legs. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen, and then exhale, plant the hands down. You can jump back, you can step back, maybe you've got a little handstand, you can jump back with the handstand. Take the right arm by your right side. Lower your right hand, take your left hand by your left side, try not to swing into the right side too much. Lower the right hand down, elbows brush rib cage. Nice and slow and steady, control. Come through cobra, up dog, knee, knee in, downward, facing dog, big breath in, well done. How was the journey? Long breath out. Last time, left leg lifts up. Bend the knee, open up the hip, and how does it feel through the right leg there? Can you find that space in the left hip? Not worrying about what it looks like. Left knee into nose, left foot, next to your left thumb. Okay, get strong and stable here. You know you can adjust the right foot over to the right side if you need. Bring the left hand into a fist, elbow bend, draw your arrow, come up to standing, right fingers to the front. That's it, keep going, open up the left arm to the back, move your gaze towards the left. Go through the struggle, bend deeper into the front leg. Good, left hand onto the back leg, right arm up and over your head, breathe into it, straight into your back leg. Good, right forearm onto the thigh. Right palm to the sky, left arm up and over. Press the palms together. Can you move the chest closer to the thumbs? Yeah, the center of the chest. Looking down, bend the back leg. Bring your right foot to the front, next to your left foot. Sink deeper into your twist. Inhale, lengthen your lower back neck. Good, exhale, looking down, keep the bend of the legs. Release and lift your arms up into chair, tuck your tail. If you're feeling it in your legs, take all your awareness there and breathe into it. Good, bring your hands heart center and then straighten those legs. Good, come up high into your toes. And bend those knees and how slowly can you lower down? Yeah, you have to fight for it a little bit. Yeah, none of this comes easily to anyone. Yeah, so now you can have your hands on the floor for stability, or take your hands and hover them off the floor. Slowly lower your knees to the floor. Good, once the knees touch, come up to standing on your knees. I'm hiding behind my fridge. Take the hands to the lower back, tuck the tail, core strong, lean it back, upper body peeling back. Breathing in, opening up your chest. Breathing in. Good, coming all the way back, sit your bum back into your heel. So it is a challenge, this is a challenge. Bring your hands heart center, lean back. Then you have to kind of bring yourself forwards as the knees start to hover. And you can also do this using your hands on the floor. Just come back to this shape. Well done, hands to the floor, hips up, squeeze the heels down, straighten those legs. See where you are in your hamstrings now. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, and fold. Good. Palms flat, jump or set your feet back. Okay, now make sure you've got a nice space between your feet. Take your right arm back along your right side and then turn both toes towards the right. So you're opening up your right shoulder into a little side plank. You can take your right arm up to the sky. You can always drop your left knee to the floor here. 
Bring your right hand back down. Bring your heels back up. Right hand onto the floor. And then we take the left arm by the side. Turn both heels towards the right. Start to spin the chest up. How strong is this right arm? Left arm up to the sky. Yes, breathing in. Good, lower the left hand back onto your thigh. Bring the heels back up, left hand down. Elbows, brush, rib cage, let's rest all the way down onto the mat. Draw your shoulders back and then you can rest your head on your hands. And give those hips a nice little shake from side to side. How is everything feeling? Is that passion growing, the passion for the practice? Right arm out to the right side. Left hand on the floor by your left side. Stretch out everything you've worked there. So you can bend your left knee, left toes behind the right leg. Take a moment to, to stretch this out now. Yeah, how is it feeling there? How's that in internal fire? Lowering your belly back down onto the mat. Changing sides, left arm out towards the left side. Right hand flat and then lean it back. Right knee up to the sky. Just thinking back to that, that little quote, purpose is the reason for your journey. But passion is what lights the way. So your purpose was to get up, get on your mat, free up your body, free up your mind. Yeah, but your passion will help you to complete the class, to, to, to actually do the, do the work. None of it is easy. So you're all doing amazing. Yeah, lowering your belly back down onto the mat. A bow pose. Okay, so we'll bring the, the hands down by your side. Draw the heels into the thumb. Inhale, lift the head, chest up. Now you can reach past the feet or you can catch hold of the feet. Keep the big toes touching as you send the feet up to the sky. That's it, and get that lovely stretch. Breathe in. Breathe out. So you've got the belly, that part where we where the fire is burning, pressing into the mat. One more breath here if you can. And then release. Take like, put one ear to the floor. Let your arms rest down by the side. And then picking your head up, just let the other ear rest on the floor. And what I love about this is just feeling the belly expand into the mat, the back rise and fall. And lifting the head back up, bringing the hands underneath you. Push back into your child's pose. Well done, guys. Good. Roll your way up. That's it. We'll just take the legs out in front. And bring the soles of the feet together, knees open, into your Vadakanasana. Yeah. Good. Catch hold of your big toes. Well done, guys. Inhale, lift your head, chest up. And then exhale, just fall forwards. And I don't want you to worry about the shape. Just get to where it feels nice. Yeah, you can try opening up those knees. Make sure the breath is flowing in and out through your nose. And then walking your way back up. And we lower down onto our backs. Just slowing down so you don't enter your day in a big hurry. <laughs> Arms come up and over your head. 
You can, have, you can do an audible sigh if you like. And then bring the knees back up. Take a plow pose or a happy baby. Hands flat on the floor if you're in plow. Legs go up and over the head. If you want to switch this plow up for a headstand, you can do that. If you're happy and happy baby, uh, let those thighs fall either side of the ribcage there. Lovely guys. If you are in happy baby, press the sacrum down into the mat. You feel the whole spine on the floor. Nice. Big breath in. And long breath out. Good guys, if you're in your um, plow pose, start to lower the spine down onto the floor. And if you're in headstand, make, you make your way down, lay on your back. And if you're in happy baby, just straighten the legs. So those toes straight up to the sky now. You let your eyes close, glue your legs together and then draw a circle on the ceiling with your feet. Yeah, so not, ankles aren't moving, legs are straight, and just enjoy the massage on your back. Okay, so you've done the work. You have fueled your passion. And with that awareness that you had in your practice, maybe you can take that into your day to find another passion or to inspire you to take back up a passion that you once had. There's those passions that make you, you. Yeah, if you love going to the beach, if you love knitting, yeah, if you love art, and those things have slipped, maybe today is the day you take them back up, you find a moment. Then yeah, do little circles of your ankles now and your feet. Maybe today's fueled your practice, so you'll get another one in later. And then just relax, feet to the corners of the mat, arms up and over your head or down by your side. We've got one moment here. So let your eyes close, let your face relax, make the most of this moment. Breath flowing in and out through the nose. Awareness flowing through your whole body. So finding that purpose. And that's the reason for your journey. And then it's your passion that will light the way. One more moment here. You're welcome to continue the practice or to continue Shavasana. And if you need to get on with your day, start to breathe a little bit deeper. Move your fingers, move your toes. Big breath as you reach your arms up and over your head. Do that lovely full body stretch. Big yawn into it. And then roll to the right side into a fetal shape. Make your way up to seated to face the front. Sit in any shape that feels good. Palms together, thumbs into your chest bone. So what's your passion for today? What 
and what will take you into the weekend. And then what within the practice will help you through the ups and the downs, yeah, to keep on going. It's the only way you have to keep on moving through the good and the bad times. Find that passion to help you do that. Big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste. Well, you guys are my passion. <laughs> You're what fuels me. I hope you have fun finding yours. <laughs>